everyone, welcome to another video. Hello Isaac Butterfield supporters if you're watching this. If you don't know who I am, I'm Joey Carbstrong. My real name's Joseph Armstrong. I'm from Australia, I'm an ex-gang member. I used to be addicted to drugs and I had an epiphany while I was in prison, turned my life around, realized that there was some bad karmic energy with eating the bodies of animals who didn't want to die. I realized the hypocrisy in my heart claiming to care about some issues of injustice, claiming to care about you know, some animals, but I had the peace of an animal who suffered and died on my plate. Turned my life around, now I'm an animal rights activist, and that's why I got vegan tattooed on my neck. So Isaac Butterfield is a Australian-born comedian, um, YouTuber. He makes a lot of videos about vegans. I mean, I never really got into it with Isaac. I'd seen a bit of his uh, vegan... Um, you know, anti-vegan rhetoric online. I must have been on tour at the time, didn't have time to respond. He's responded to one of my shopping videos. What I thought I would do is go through this video point for point. I actually, <clears throat> you know, to be completely transparent, I already watched it and uh, watched it on the train on the way back here to London. And yeah, I'm glad I watched it first. Anyway, let's just say that he's got some pretty ridiculous humor on, in there, but I don't agree with the parts where he's poking fun at what happens to animals. So, let's watch this and see if we can respond to old Aussie-born Isaac. Oh my god, can you believe it? Another vegan video from this Butterfield bloke. Has he got anything else to write about? Well, I don't know, maybe, but I really enjoy this shit. Well, by the looks of it, you've made a lot of vegan videos. They get, a, get some good views. Anyway, I also thought I should make this video and talk some mad shit because of what happened last week. Now maybe you didn't see this last week, but in New South Wales here in Australia, farmers became the target of abuse from radical vegan dickheads. Now when you say farmers, I don't think you mean actual plant farmers. I think you're talking about dairy farmers or, you know, people who, you know, raise animals for meat. You're saying those people are targets of abuse? What about all the filmed, secretly filmed instances of abuse inherent in animal agriculture worldwide and in Australia. What about those animals being abused, hey? Don't care about that? They were sent letters urging them to use a bullet upon themselves, saying if they can't handle the drought to end their own lives. What's worse, a letter with a threat in it, a letter with a, you know, a wish of, a, with some bad wishes in it, or, you know, being literally raped and killed for meat or dairy or having your children taken off you for dairy. What's worse? Now, do I have to go through the mountain of death threats I get nearly weekly and daily at some, some, some stages it's daily? You know, kill yourself, Joey. You deserve a bullet in the head. Jump off a cliff. You know, I'm going to come and find you and bash your face in. All of this stuff I get constantly. Now, I don't agree with it on either side, but it's the internet. It's, ha it's what happens, and it's kind of what you fuel and propagate with your call-out videos. This is one of the letters that was sent, and I'm not going to read it because I don't want to get... Uh you know, the old YouTube to be angry at me, but I can just, can you imagine being the type of person that would send this letter not only to another person, but another person when they're doing it really tough? What's happened here is the farmers have become, run into some financial problems. Maybe there, there's a drought in Australia. I'm not too familiar with it. I know this happens quite often and they're not, you know, being able to get the f resources they need to make their product. It happens a lot because, you know, dairy industry, the meat industry is very resource intensive and it doesn't have very good returns. Now, I get the anger from animal lovers who see a dairy farmer going, oh my God, you know, I'm the victim here when there's like a cow being led to their death to a, a slaughterhouse kill floor or there's a bobby calf being shot on the, in the head their first day of birth and, you know, dairy cows being held down and forcibly impregnated and you know, the suffering that goes on in the dairy industry is really systemic and horrific. So when, uh, say, an animal lover, a vegan, uh, hears a story about, you know, a poor me dairy farmer saying they're in some strife and, and a vegan responds by saying something very blunt and, you know, lacking a bit of compassion, I understand why that is. I've actually been guilty of this too before when I was a lot angrier when I first started and I... I, I didn't really have the best type of public advocacy and I just said things how I felt them and I've said things about farmers doing it hard before. Do I think it's the best thing to say? No, I don't think it's the best thing to say if someone's really doing it hard and is legitimately suicidal. I think that they are in a situation that 
might not have been in, in their control at, at the start. But, uh, you know, let's face it, the abuse that's inherent in the dairy industry is horrific. And if you're contributing to that and you see those dairy cows on a day-to-day -day basis suffering, suffering, and you claim to love those animals, but you send them to a slaughterhouse truck to be murdered, how much compassion do you, do, do you really deserve? If someone kills themselves when you tell them to kill themselves, you should be personally be held accountable. You don't know what someone's going through. You don't know if you're going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Fuck you. And this coming from Isaac, Mr. Isaac here, who spends his time ridiculing people online with his 1.14 million subscribers here on YouTube. You don't know what someone's going through, Isaac. How can you stand up there and ridicule vegans? You don't know what I've been through, mate. You know, and I, I guess what he's... What he's trying to do is a bit of like white knighting in a way, like he's like, you know, standing up for, for the Aussie farmers. But you're being a bit of a hypocrite here, mate. You're being a bit of a hypocrite. You, you know, you, you, you participate in this call out culture too. The only difference is vegans are actually defending animals when they're doing this. They're doing it for a noble cause. I, th I see that you think you're doing this for a noble cause too. But if you looked at it from the animal's perspective, maybe you'd, you know, change your mind a little bit. So I thought for one last time in 2019, unless something else happens in the next two weeks, let's talk shit about vegans, shall we? So it looks like he's just gonna make videos talking shit about vegans without, you know, any justification. It seems to me like he's just got, he's got some emotional, harboring some emotional negativity towards vegans. Have you ever wondered what vegans get up to when they're not being an absolute pain in the entire rectum of the world? Standing in the middle of the streets, screaming at people, blocking traffic, and just being the absolute scrotum of society? It's called activism, mate. It's how you change society. And if you were on the other end of the knife, I'm sure you'd want activists defending you. But I don't think you've ever been on the other end of a knife. I don't think you've ever faced that type of oppression. So you wouldn't understand activism, mate. You wouldn't understand the value of activists out there changing society. That's how women got their right to vote. That's how black people were released from their bonds in America through the abolition of slavery. That's how the uh, civil rights movement succeeded, was through activism. Now, do you have a problem with those, you know, movements of justice or just the one to do with animals that you don't give a shit about? Well, sometimes, like you or me, they go to the shops. Yes, to become as healthy as Mr. Burns in that episode when he goes to the Mayo Clinic and, the, you know, the, the, the syringe goes through his arm. Classic episode. To become that healthy, vegans have to buy produce. They have to buy food. They have to put all the nutrients in their system. And what man better to give us the details, give us the whole world win that is the vegan lifestyle when you go to the supermarket than the great man, Joey Carbstrong. What better man to point this out than Joey Carbstrong? I mean, I know this is overused, but the position paper of the uh, Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, backed by 117 studies, a massive position paper. The Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics is not a vegan organization, saying vegan diets are healthy for all stages of life, infancy, pregnancy, adulthood, athletes, all of that stuff. So I know that's, you know, been really rung through the ringer, but we do have to present that at the start here. This should be interesting, a man who relies upon carbohydrates to get big and bulky, when we know that most vegans are just fat people who eat heaps of carbs. Ah, here we go. So first of all, if you're going to be vegan, you're going to be skinny and unhealthy like Mr. Burns in that episode, or you're going to be a fat vegan who just is fat and eats lots of carbs. So which one is it? Are we skinny and anemic and, you know, unhealthy like Mr. Burns in that episode? Or are we fat vegans who eat too many carbs? Now, it's interesting because he used a photo of me for his thumbnail where I'm looking pretty in pretty good shape, buddy. I'm in better shape than you, Mr. Isaac. I just ran a, I just ran a, literally ran a marathon on um, Sunday. Be beat my last time by an hour, nearly. Now, Isaac, you running any marathons, mate? You're looking a little bit out of shape yourself, buddy, so wouldn't throw too many stones there, mate. Uh, Joey Carbstrong made this video, and I'll just go out and, and say this at the start. I will not make any assumptions about Joey or his lifestyle. Uh, no, I will. He's a turd, okay? Let's be honest. Joey's a big old turd. You ready, turd? I think he's just trying to antagonise me or whatever, but, like, I mean, there's no hard feelings. I don't really give a shit, like, what Isaac tries to... He's just trying to... He's a comedian. He's trying to be funny in that. So he doesn't know the first thing about me, but he's just, because I'm a vegan, and that reason alone, and because I speak up for animal rights, that reason alone, he's gonna come at me, because he feels like he's defending the poor farmers. He had emotional reaction. It's funny how Isaac got a bit of emotion in there. Where's that emotion when animals are getting stabbed in their throat, Mr. Isaac? Where is it? Come on, reach inside there. I've never been in Audi before. I don't shop in Audi. You think you're a bit too good for Audi, you big old pussy? You think you're too good for those $50, 50-inch Cham Chung Hong Chung TVs? You fucking asshole. Al is where it's at. 
For like cleaning products, probably wouldn't buy meat from there. It's a bit gross. Why wouldn't you buy meat from Audi, mate? A true carnivore wouldn't care. They'd eat rotting carcasses and, you know, roadkill and corpses. What's the problem with Audi, mate? Place is designed really weird. I'm used to Sainsbury's and Tesco's. I don't know where anything is over. Hey, wait, 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 wait. hang on a second. Does this motherfucker have a vegan tattoo? A vegan neck tattoo? Oh my god! What the fuck is wrong with you, you turd? You turd of society, you! Now he carries on like this for a while, but yeah, I've got a vegan neck tattoo. I'm proud to be vegan, mate. I'm proud to be against animal abuse. Are you proud? Are you proud of, a, you know, participating in the abuse and murder of animals? Are you? The little baby animals who can't defend themselves? Do you feel proud of that? All right, so here we are at the section where they sell breast milk, which is- Breast milk. Oh, big bad Joey ain't happy no more. What's the problem with calling, you know, the secretion that feeds a baby breast milk? I mean, it comes out the udder of a cow. It's, it's, it's something that people can, you know, recognize. Breast milk for a baby. Are you a baby? Yeah, big bad Joey's not a baby who drinks breast milk. Do you still drink breast milk, mate? We just want milk that tastes like real milk, motherfucker. Don't get me wrong. I drink almond milk. And he drinks almond milk. See what I mean? He's just making a video to antagonize vegans. He actually drinks almond milk. Who, who knows? Maybe his diet's predominantly plant-based. Who bloody knows? Because the butts is on the old keto diet again. After he went on tour and put on way too many kilos from drinking too many beers. <laughs> but back on the keto. So you're on the keto diet from drinking too many beers and, and you're saying vegans are fat and out of shape because they eat too many carbs, but vegans are unhealthy and skinny too. You posted a, video, a picture of me looking in much better shape than you. Um, what's your problem, mate? You, you, you're contradicting yourself all over the place here, buddy. Work it out. Work it out, would you? I've worked my, my stuff out. You need to work yours out. I used to be 115 kilograms, obese. I've lost 40 kilograms and managed to keep it off. I'm now putting on muscle. I'm now running marathons. What are you doing? And, uh, and it's really helping being in my studio today because it's 40 fucking degrees outside and I'm sweating like an absolute pig. You're sweating like a pig in a factory farm? You're sweating like a pig in a gas chamber before they get murdered and stabbed in the throat so you can eat their body parts? Have you heard pigs scream in a gas chamber before? It sounds like this. Highly weird and sexual abuse. If you saw Ed's... Sexual abuse. Yeah, it is sexual abuse, but why did you cut it off when I was about to talk about Ed's This Is The Truth video? And why didn't you just watch that video where it says, this is the truth? Click down below in that Audi video. I'll, I'll, I left it linked down below. I'll leave it linked below, below here. And you understand why dairy is actually sexual abuse. Now, I take umbrage with that because I'm pretty sure a sexual abuse victim would probably be a little upset that you compare their horrible atrocity that they went through being attacked by someone to a cow having its others squeezed by a machine. Well... If a true sexual abuse victim seen what happened to dairy cows on a daily basis, they would empathise with them. Now, there's plenty of people that follow me who have been victims of rape and sexual abuse, and they empathise even more with what happens to cows in the dairy industry and animals worldwide in animal agriculture. I mean, sexual abuse is inherent and systemic throughout animal agriculture. It's one of the fundamental things that keeps it going, the forcible breeding of the animals. If you haven't seen a cow be forcibly bred, they're held down in a rack. They're held down in a rack have a fish shoved into their asshole, okay? That ain't a joke either, mate. Now, why do they stick the hand in the anus? It's because they're holding the cervix to stick the pipette full of bull semen in there. Now, the cow doesn't want this to happen to them, and obviously, you know, cows can't give consent. I'm sure that's not overly comfortable. Maybe it is. I don't know. You don't know. You're not a fucking cow, all right? So you just focus on the milking aspect of it. It's not overly comfortable. Well, what about the rape aspect of it, mate? What about that whole sexual abuse aspect of it you're missing out on? And no exploiting someone for their the milk that's rightfully for their child. That's not f***ing ethical either, dude. But it's not as bad as sexual assault, dickhead. It's literally sexual assault. It's literally sexual assault. It's exactly the same thing. Replace a human with a f***ing cow, and what is it? Joey, you deserve a nipple cripple, fuckface. And he brings comedy into it too. So like, he, he like balances out comedy with like this emotional pleading going, oh, sexual abuse victims would be highly offended with you, Joey. And then he just tells me I need a nipple cripple. So he's like making fun kind of thing with a serious topic, which I don't know. It's kind of like he's balancing on the line there. But like, as soon as it comes, oh, sexual abuse victim, they'll be so upset with you. What about the cows, mate? Have a look at it. Have a look what they go through, buddy. Where's all the vegan ice creams? They don't have any vegan ice creams in there? You don't deserve vegan ice cream, Joey, with your shit neck tat and your bad attitude. Suck a big old dick, that's what you need. Just ridiculous humour. I mean, I don't know how far he gets with his humour. He's obviously... 
People think he's funny. Anyway, yeah, we've got plenty of vegan ice cream. We've got Ben & Jerry's now vegan. We've got uh, Halo Top do vegan. Um, you know, there's uh, Oatly do vegan ice cream. There's uh, So Good so uh, Soya ice cream. There's plenty of vegan ice cream. You don't need to get ice cream from the exploited udder of a mother who's lost their child. This motherfucker seems terrified of dairy. That's because dairy is scary. Have you seen this? Dairy is scary. That's why I'm terrified of it, mate. What he didn't know before, that the cow was coming. It was gonna squeeze milk through its udder through the door. It's funny how he like skips, he just keeps focusing on the milk from the udder. It's like he, like, I don't think he can get away with saying he's ignorant because so many vegans have made um, videos about him, about veganism, about the dairy industry, I mean, he knows all about it, so I think he's just like trying to strengthen his argument by avo avoiding certain points on his platform that his followers might see and might actually see who's more logically consistent, who has more evidence to support, you know, their ethical position. Why don't you include dairy cows being bolt gunned in the skull and slashed across the throat when their milk production declines? Why don't you include that? Baby chickens hacked up into pieces? Baby chickens hacked into pieces. No, 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 Joey. This was a chicken. This was a baby chicken. Now it's delicious food. Now it's a rotting corpse. When the animal dies, it becomes food. When an animal dies, they start decomposing immediately. When a human dies, they start decomposing. When an animal dies, they start decomposing. You're eating rotten flesh. You're eating a rotten corpse. It is food. That's why we're the kings of the jungle, baby. You look like a lion, mate. That beard is starting to grow into a mane. It's starting to look like a king of the jungle. Let's see if you act like one. Let's see. Chickens should have stayed fucking dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Yeah, you, I'd think that's funny if it wasn't like chickens being murdered by the billion every year, tortured, kept in cages, you know, heads hacked off. I'd think you're funny, but because it's such a serious topic, I don't think animal cruelty is funny. I don't know, do your followers think animal cruelty is funny? Have they seen Dominion? You've probably been recommended to watch Dominion a million times, but you won't because you don't give a shit. You just want to pick on vegans for some comedy, but you don't look at the issue like sensibly. You don't look at it and go, all right, you know, I'm a... I'm a you know sensible human being. I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna look at this uh, movie. And I'm gonna see what happens in Australian animal agriculture. I'm gonna see what happens in the dairy industry and make my mind up myself. No, you only give a shit about yourself and your views and your comedy. You don't care about bigger issues. It's okay. It doesn't make you less of a man to care about animals being stabbed in the throat. I mean, you care about the emotions of humans a lot. You don't give a f about the literal exploitation of animals who are losing their lives and being raped and killed. Stolen breast milk, coagulated, solidified and so added. Stolen breast milk? You make it sound like someone's just run along past a lady feeding a baby in a park on the tip and just had a couple of squishes, couple of squirts into the mouth, into a little shot glass and then pissed off down the road. It's not stolen. This bit here where I'm talking about stolen breast milk, it kind of clicks with him, eh? Because he kind of talks himself into it here. Let's listen. I mean, you know, they don't give consent, but how do you get consent off a cow? Exactly. How do you get consent off a cow? That's why they're being exploited. Like, you can't get consent off a child. That's why exploiting children is f***ing illegal. They cannot consent. Cows, chickens, pigs can't consent to you taking their eggs, taking their milk, uh, sticking fingers inside of them, or sticking pipettes full of semen inside of them, breeding them. They don't consent to being turned into steak either. Do you get consent of a cow to give it a leg operation if it's got a broken hip? Or do you just go in there and do it? No! You go in there and do it, and you save that cow's life with that hip operation. Just like you squeeze its tits, and it has a great old day, and it's not walking around with big old milk in its udder, alright? Cows don't like that shit, I'm sure. See, now he's conflating something that is in the cow's best interest, like a leg operation, and something that is in the farmer's best interest, like exploiting them for milk. So there's nothing about the dairy industry that is in the cow's best interest. Okay, this is completely in the interest of human beings who are making money from their exploitation. If your child breaks their leg, you take them to the hospital, but you don't exploit that child for their skin and their flesh and their milk. This is a pancetta, which is like, I think it's Italian bacon. American style bacon. Spanish chorizo. The point I'm trying to make is that pigs are murdered all over the world. <laughs> murdered all, they're widely accepted as food all over the world. Why do you, why do you skip over the murdered part, dude? They're being gas chambered to death all over the world. Like Europe, Australia, UK, they're all gas chambering pigs. Why do you skip over that part and just go, they're wildly accepted as food. You're using a euphemism to explain something that's obviously murder or gas chambering, slaughtering, turning them into bacon. There's a part in the middle that you seem to forget. And I don't know how much footage this guy's actually seen. Cause it's delicious. Bacon, salami, all that shit. Marvelous. Marvelous. Marvellous cold. This is a marvellous meta-analysis and it shows processed meat causes 
Marvellous colorectal cancer. How marvellous. Lying in a hospital with a terminal illness. Sometimes I feel like, you know, animals come back and they get their karma. It's weird you eat animal products, all that suffering and violence, and it comes back to bite you in the ass, literally. This is pate. It's basically blended up liver. Blended liver, okay, that sounds disgusting, I agree, but- So, does it sound disgusting or not, mate? Like, you're supposed to be king of the jungle, Mr. Carnival, what, you won't even eat blended liver? Liver sounds disgusting to a true carnival, king of the jungle, Mr. Lion Mane? Nah. Organs are some of the most nutrient-dense foods you can eat. If I didn't think it was gross, I'd probably eat it as well. Well, I think rotten corpses are gross. I think, you know, fisting cows in the anus and injecting with bull semen, t stealing their children off them and murdering them for steak and dairy and cheese is gross. I think breast milk is gross. I think eating blood, guts and corpses is just generally gross. Not only gross, it's cruel. This is what I get from corn. I got a chicken free slice as well. This is what confuses me the most. These guys go out of their way to yeah. save animals. To become, to become activists around animal lives and all this type of shit. Doesn't seem like he knows much about an animal rights activist around animal lives. We just don't want animals be, to be exploited and killed. Continue. And then they go and buy vegan products that's talking about chicken strips and chicken slices. Like, Isaac, like, not to offend you, but really, I think we've gone past the point of offending each other. You're not very switched on. You don't seem very intelligent, like, just the way you formulate your sentences. I don't, I don't claim to be, like, you know, the master's PhD at anything either. I mean, I come out of gangs. I left school at 15, um, got addicted to drugs and all of that. I mean, I'm no perfect person either but who the f are you to give diet advice to anyone you can't even formulate a coherent sentence for starters now the reason i promote you know chicken free slices is because it's not about the way these products are formed into strips and you know called certain names it's the fact that they murder and exploit animals to get these products that's what the problem is okay now i, I prefer someone eat chicken strips okay so they're, they're let's just say they're a meat eater and they can they can exchange, you know, the murdered animal for the plant-based version. No animals being exploited and murdered for that product, okay? I want people to eat the vegan version. I don't give a shit what it looks like, what they say it looks like. I just care if it supports the abusive industries that meat, dairy, and eggs do. That's what I care about. Diced pretend chicken. I'd rather eat pretend chicken than stab a chicken in the throat and eat a real one. No one gets hurt from pretend chicken, mate. That's fucking a bit weird. It might be a little bit weird. Eating animals generally is weird. Now we're trying to do our best in a society that thinks, you know, eating beef and chicken is necessary. We're trying to switch out those products for people transitioning. So me as a vegan advocate, I constantly promote them. I want people watching to go, oh, well maybe I'll just get a Beyond Burger instead of eating blood and guts from a murdered cow. Maybe I'll just try that one, eh? Oh, I fucking hate meat eaters, bro. I hate how they eat chicken all the time. I don't hate meat eaters. I hate animal cruelty, bud. Oh, yum. Chicken, vegan chicken. I'm gonna eat the fuck out of that pretend part of an animal. Yeah, I mean, we need to move away from viewing animals as food, but we're not there yet. We're trying to bring in these vegan alternatives to meat so animals stop getting raped and killed, basically. That's what we're trying to do. Do you understand how fucking retarded that is? Pigs in a blanket, how sadistic and weird. One piece of a pig wrapped around another piece of a pig. Like, if you're gonna get oven baked. Like, what I wanna know, Isaac, is why don't you respond to that part, pigs in a blanket? I mean, it's, it's literally a ground up a minced up pig and it's wrapped around by another p part of the pig and they call it a pig in a blanket. Don't you think that's fucking sick? Don't you think that is sick and weird? That they wrap up one corpse with another part of the corpse and call it pigs in a blanket and market it to children? How sick is that? Why didn't you respond to it? Do you agree with me? Vegan sausage rolls. Vegan sausage rolls. That sounds like the worst time ever. So you respond to the vegan sausage roll bit. All right, let's go. This is the thing with all these vegan foods. Now, whether vegans are so unhealthy, the vast majority of them. The vast majority of vegans are unhealthy. Are you going to back that up with a study, dude, or anything? Are you just going to declare it? The vast majority of vegans are unhealthy by Isaac Butterfield, the bloke who hasn't done one ounce of research ever, is declaring the vast majority of vegans are unhealthy. Buddy, you're overweight. You're overweight yourself. All right, are you a vegan? Are you a closet vegan? Because you're looking unhealthy to me. So we've got some evidence that, you know, eating vegan is healthy for you. The Adventist Health Study too. Uh, this is a very comprehensive study and they accounted for many variables in this study and their conclusion was vegetarian diets. They actually lumped all the, the vegans and vegetarians together in this study. Ve vegetarian diets are associated with lower all-cause mortality, meaning dying from all causes. 
With some reduction in cause-specific mortality, results appeared to be more robust in males. So you've got less chance of dying by all causes if you're a vegan, buddy. It's because all they do is eat processed shit food. He hasn't even gone to the veggie section yet. That's what ve vegans should be fucking eating. All veggies, right? Everyone knows vegetables are vegan, all right? I'm trying to give people different alternatives. But no, they're eating little pretend sausage rolls. They're smashing vegetable oil, which is terrible for you. Absolutely terrible for you, vegetable oil. Don't have vegetable oil. I agree, vegetable oil is terrible for you, but... It's actually better for you than saturated fat. There's this paper here, um, Dietary Fats and Cardiovascular Disease, a pres presidential advisory from the American Heart Association. And what they found, so in summary, randomized control trials that lowered intake of dietary saturated fat and replaced it with polyunsaturated vegetable oil reduced cardiovascular disease by 30%. Wow. So even though, you know, as unhealthy as vegetable oil is, it's much better for you than saturated fat which is prevalent in animal products and bacon, which you love to eat. Get butter in your life. Bit of grass-fed butter, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of grass-fed butter. Like I said, <laughs> you're swapping out something that's bad for something that's even worse. Stick that up your ass, you'd be healthy as an ox. It'd probably be better for you to stick butter up your ass than it would be stick it down your mouth. So be careful of that butter. Cholesterol, LDL, causes atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So consider together the strong consistent evidence from genetic studies, prospective uh, cohort studies, Mendelian randomized studies and randomized intervention trials discussed here, supported by mechanistic evidence, establishes that LDL is not merely a biomarker of increased risk, but a causal factor in cardiovascular disease. So that's pretty conclusive there. Keto or not, mate, you should try vegan keto. It'd be a lot safer than shoving butter anywhere near your body. No, this has got eggs, period, chicken periods. Like chicken periods. Okay, I've heard this before. And are you such a misogynist that you think periods are gross? Fuck you, Joey. Periods are a beautiful part of life. I don't know how to take that. Uh, egg is like similar to the period of a human being. It's just they have a cycle and an egg comes out of their cloaca, which is their vagina and their butthole. I wouldn't eat anything that comes out of, a, of someone else. I mean, we've got beans and plants and legumes and tofu why would you eat something that comes out of a chicken's asshole christmas is coming up so people will... i can't even pick this up shopping in a morgue dead body in a bag exactly how the mafia do it the mafia shut the fuck up joey well buddy mafia put bodies in bags and dump them in you know rivers and stuff like that What's the... there's a dead body in a bag exactly how the mafia do it what's the problem with that uh it's a frozen corpse in a freezer being sold to families to feed to their children at Christmas time. Fuck up, Joey. It's a delicious bird. That is it. Once again, if it didn't want to be eaten, it should have stayed a fucking Velociraptor 65 million years ago. So I think he's like, keeps pushing this might makes right argument, like they should have become a Velociraptor and they wouldn't be exploited and killed by those who are bigger and stronger and more dominant than them. Might makes right is not an ethical argument, mate. You know, we've got children that aren't as powerful as us. Should we overpower them and exploit them? Maybe they should have been bigger and stronger, you know? We can do whatever we want to those who are weaker than us, hey, Isaac? No, it's a big, dumb, fuck-off turkey! And it's not a big, dumb, f bird. These birds are intelligent and beautiful, okay? And they don't deserve to be exploited and murdered, so you can stick them down your gob. Joey Carbstrong is a fucking idiot. I mean, what are you calling an idiot, mate? Like, I've worked things out a little bit quicker than you have, mate, and I'll give you a bit of time, but I don't know whether, you know, you're ever gonna take this topic seriously. I mean, you don't give a f about animal cruelty. You don't give a f about the health of human beings. You seem to make these emotional arguments, you know, oh, what about the feelings of this person? What about the feelings of that person? But when it comes to actual knives being stabbed into animals, you don't really give a shit, so. A vegan who has been in that lifestyle for a long old time has decided to go the whole other fucking side of the spectrum and go full carnivore. There's literally no science to support the carnivore way of eating. There's literally tons of science to support uh, plant-based diets being healthy and optimal. Yeah, so she made a silly decision based on a few anecdotes and now he's just going to say that her personal experience with the carnivore diet uh, matters more than the, you know, thousands of studies that we have to support plant-based diets. Here's an anecdote for you, mate. This is me before I went vegan, and this is me now. So, what, six years vegan? How's that for an anecdote? Feel fantastic. But her results were really interesting. What about the, what about my results, mate? You posted a picture of me on your thumbnail, mate. Did you, did you even make your own thumbnail? All right, I'm in better shape than you, dude. I had a very similar diet to this a few years ago, and I lost 34 kilos from it. Now, a year or two went by and I put Probably half of it back on. Whole food, plant-based diet. It's the best. Low calorie, uh, high fiber foods. You know, starches, potatoes, beans, um, more greens. You'll drop that weight again, mate. 
stop sticking corpses down your stomach in saturated fat and start eating more plants and you'll, you'll move to a better um, BMI. Find out exactly what a keto diet is and do it. Why should we take any ad dietary advice off of you? Why don't people just look up the research? But I think this lady, what she said at the end of the video was really, really interesting. She goes on to say that uh, she found some massive health benefits from this. Oh yeah, because if someone says like, oh yeah, they found some massive health benefits from eating a piece of shit, then that must be true, right? Oh, so all of a sudden I started eating koala shit and now I feel fantastic. Therefore, I'm going to listen to this one person and not listen to the weight of scientific evidence. Yeah, Isaac Butterfield's Logic 101. I tried the carnivore diet for two weeks. I didn't want to look at a steak again. Sounds like a true carnivore. You tried carnivore diet for two weeks and you didn't want to look at a steak again. Oh, mate, do you think an omnivore would feel that way, a real omnivore? But, and she had the, basically the same thought. But I think that what she said at the end was very interesting because she basically just said, I'm going to eat a diet that is majority animal products. Oh, wow. So she had the same thought. She didn't want to look at a steak again. Sounds like a great diet. Does it prevent um, the number one killer of human beings like a whole food plant-based diet does, heart disease? Or does it cause it? So if you are going to eat animal products, make sure you eat grass-fed shit because the grain-fed shit's no good. Oh, wow. That sounds like good science, mate. Isaac Butterfield, scientist. Grass-fed beef has still got, you know, saturated fat and cholesterol. What, you know, just feeding an animal grass doesn't change anything. You're still eating meat. But don't be a vegan. Why don't be a vegan? Well, you're gonna back this up with any type of research? I mean, we've got the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics that say otherwise, and, you know, I'd take, you know, their physician paper over your, you know, anecdote. I try to play the fence all year and be like, no, vegans are healthy. Fuck them, fuck the dogs. <laughs> Get some meat on your fork and shove it down your throat and you'll be happier for it. Ladies and gentlemen. Get some meat on your fork. I've heard that before, eh? Come on, Isaac. Come up with some new shit. Fuck me, I've got a tea towel. It's 45 fucking degrees in here. Jesus Christ, these lights are hot as... Sweating like anything. You're overweight, mate. you got to get off the bacon. you got to get onto the whole food plant-based diet. And you got to stop talking shit, mate. That's what you got to do. Anyways, that's my response. I was at Butterfield. Um, I'm in better shape than you, mate. I could outrun you in a marathon. I can outlift you. I'm, I'm doing much better than you are. Um, physically, so I don't know what you're talking about. Vegans are unhealthy. Um, you've got no idea when it comes to the ethics of animal agriculture. A stand-up bloke would just be like, you know, that's f what happens to dairy cows is f I don't want any part of it. You know, I, it's horrible. Animal cruelty is bad. But no, you just stand up here and make yourself look like an idiot. When I was at my worst, I would never make fun of animal cruelty. So you're worse than me at my worst. I was a violent gang member and I would never make fun of animal cruelty like you're standing here doing right now. You're making yourself look like a heartless prick. Standing up here and making fun of like dairy cows being murdered and raped and killed and that sort of stuff. I mean, no one thinks that's funny. Um, you're probably a funny guy outside of when you're talking about animal cruelty. So just leave the animals out of it, mate, and keep doing your comedy and pick up a Beyond Burger.